Hi and welcome back. So about a week ago, I posted my six year on hormones update and everybody has been saying, Zoe, your boobs look amazing. Thank you. And so some of the things that people have been asking me was, are there things that they can do to, I guess, speed up the feminization? And one of the things that sort of stood out for me were people asking about what type of hormones am I on? And where the birth control was a safe and suitable HRT. We're gonna talk about that today. Yeah, let's get this show on the road. Okay, I have no idea what is happening on the road today, but I drove past like two accidents on the way here. Wild. I swear that was the quickest canal walk trip shopping thing ever. <laughs> I just had to return that pair of jeans that I bought like what, two days ago. I didn't like the cut of it. Anyway, here's the thing about hormones and birth control. Birth control was designed for people with uteruses in order to prevent pregnancy. And part of the way that it does that, in fact, for most like common things like the pill, they are chemical things that regulate your hormone levels, which is the thing that sort of tells your body, okay, now it's time to have your period. Now it's time to build the lining of the uterus. Now it's time to have the baby, etc. So the pill regulates those hormones in your body. Now, some of the hormones in birth control is estrogen, which is a hormone that will do sort of feminizing things to your body. Birth control is so readily available and is relatively affordable and easily accessible to most people. So for trans women specifically, who are looking to access some sort of gender affirming care, i.e. to get their hands on estrogen, birth control is a really, really like quick and easy method to do that. But birth control was not designed for that. And so while birth control may contain estrogen, the dosage that is in those pills or in sort of the regimen is nowhere near what is needed for a sufficient and safe HRT program. And this is why you'll find a sort of common story with trans women who are on birth control as their HRT, um, not reporting any real like significant or like they're not seeing the gains that they want to see effectively because that dosage is completely off and was not designed for that purpose. Now, in addition to all of that, if you are taking birth control as a form of hormone replacement therapy, there are all kinds of side effects that sort of start cropping up as a result of taking the birth control for that purpose. So we're talking about things like headaches, uh, nausea, uh, lack of appetite. We're talking about things like extreme, like weight gain and weight fluctuation. And there are the more serious complications, things like high blood pressure, uh, being prone to blood clots, uh, tumors growing on your liver, kidney failure. Like those are, those are not great. So whenever I get asked about what you can do uh, to sort of see the results that you are kind of wanting, the feminizing results that you are wanting from your hormone replacement therapy, the first question I ask is one, are you on HRT? And the other one is what are you taking? Because particularly if you don't have access to gender affirming healthcare that is specifically made uh, available for trans women in your country, because as we know, so many uh, countries, so many institutions are incredibly transphobic and they don't want to provide these services to trans women. So I understand that there is a degree of wanting to access something that will at least give you something. Now, I am not a medical professional. We know this, I have said this on this channel so many times, but if you are on birth control uh, for the estrogen, I am going to like say that maybe you should speak to like your doctor or your physician and try and get off that as soon as you can and start doing 
a proper HRT regimen program uh, in conjunction with your medical provider because like your health is so 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 important now for a very long time i was on the pills uh, which was prescribed to me by the south african state and it sort of did the things for me and it wasn't like particularly great but then i made the decision to i mean once i was able obviously because you know private healthcare in this country is so damn expensive i then switched from the pills to the injectable so this is what i'm on now which is the injectable estradiol valerate which has been the most incredible thing for me both in terms of my feminization in terms of my transition but also for my health as well so yes if you are on birth control as a form of hrt i would really really strongly encourage you to try and get some sort of proper regimen and speak to your medical provider. Uh, the other thing that you can also do is speak to your local LGBTQIA plus organization. It is very, very likely that they will have more information uh, about what services are available in your particular area, in your particular country, and they will try and assist you in that kind of way. That's the best thing I can say. Please look after yourselves, my babies. I hope this was helpful in some kind of way. I'm gonna go and get some drinks with Kimberly because it's Friday and it's December so yeah if this content brought you a little bit of value and also if you are new to this channel welcome go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then uh, yeah I'll see all of you in the next one ciao